apart from storytelling the one thing i have always loved in film is the color grading you know that rich cinematic looks that makes each frame feel like art every film has its own unique color combinations and for the longest time i have wanted to recreate that in my own video abhi dekhna kya color grading hui hai bhai bilkul movie type lag raha hai ekdam dekh color grading dekh ek bar to achhi to hai lekin मूवी की तरह नहीं है मूवी की तरह तो नहीं ठीक है मतलब ज़्यादा खास नहीं है अभी और मेहनत करने की जरूरत है वैसे देखा जाए तो I have watched countless tutorials on YouTube to understand how filmmakers achieve that look. Most of them use LUTs and plug-in to speed up their process and enhance their visuals. And I have always wanted to try those tools myself. Recently, Dehens reach out to me to create an honest review video on their plug-in. and in return i got full access to all of their tools because they genuinely like my work on youtube and no oh, this is not a sponsor video i am not being paid so what you will hear is my honest experience using it so let's talk about what is dehancer so dehancer is a powerful film evolution and color grading plugin available for davinci resolve premiere pro and final cut pro but i will be using inside davinci resolve for this video if you are planning to get dehancer so feel free to use my coupon code hck films and get instant 10% off on all the dehancer products why dehancer is special you can color grade manually by using any software like davinci resolve Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, but that takes a lot of time and require a deep understanding of color science. But with Dehancer, you can achieve that cinematic look in just a few steps. So let's talk about how it works. Just purchase and install Dehancer from their websites. Open DaVinci Resolve and apply to your color grading node. So let me show you example. Pick a clip. Apply Dehancer. For example, choose Kodak Portra 400, and boom, your digital footage suddenly looks like it was shot on a real film. So why use Dehancer? Because Dehancer doesn't just apply a LUT; it emulates real analog film behavior, including color response, grain, halation, bloom, and many more. It includes a wide range of classic film stocks and creative tools that give your footage that rich, nostalgic, timeless feel. So let's jump into Davinci Resolve, and I'll show you exactly how I use Dehancer in my workflow. So this is a DaVinci Resolve and I am going to color grade this video. Currently I am in a edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. You can see here I have imported few clips which I shot during one of my trip and it's more like a vlog style footage. So let's try to give it a proper film look and let me jump into the color section of DaVinci Resolve. So before starting grading with Dehancer, you should have a basic understanding of color grading. So if you are a beginner, so I will highly recommend you to use your color grading tool. For example, if you are using DaVinci Resolve, so try color grading inside DaVinci. Don't buy Dehancer yet. Dehancer is more like add-on to your footage. Here I am going to do the basic correction in DaVinci first, then I'll use a Dehancer to achieve that film look. So as you can see there is a one node here let's add few more nodes so to add the node you can press alt s multiple times so let me give it a name to different different nodes so for this node i'll give a name basic because i'll do all the basic correction here and then all the work i will be doing in dehancer Okay in the last node I am going to do color space transform CST so this will be our CST node so CST is basically used to convert your S log footage into the Rec 09 so this is a S log footage and this shot was taken on a Sony ZV-10 camera so let me first convert this footage into the Rec 09 so let me pull color space transform to this node so you can just drag and drop and select your camera settings so these are some settings which i chose while shooting this video so the setting was sony s log 3 gamma 3 cine and i need to convert it into rec 09 so here i have to select rec 09 not a rec 09 okay currently i am converting my footage from s log to rec 09 using davinci color space transform tool but you can also do the same thing in dehancer in the input section by using your camera model but unfortunately the camera i am using sony zv10 is not listed here so this is a request to dehancer team please add this camera model as this is a very popular model in the market okay now my video has some color so let's try to do some basic correction in this uh, footage This is looking good but I want to add more golden hour. This was filmed as sunrise which means I can push it towards a warmer look by adjusting this temperature slider. So either you can increase or decrease it to get the look you want. So there is an another way to do it. So head over to this HDR section and here is a global wheel so you can just increase it to get the look. I think this is a perfect spot. Now I can see a uh, 
uh, there's some magenta there and also uh, the light is too harsh here so i can reduce the highlight a little bit so let's jump into the color wheel section and reduce the highlight little bit so let me just uh, do it around 50 yeah minus 50 is fine now the highlight is controlled and uh, uh, as you can see there is some magenta around here so let me uh, reduce the tint here around 15 yeah minus 15 is fine and uh, yeah i think basic part uh, we have done here so uh, there is a one more thing you can do you can adjust the contrast as well so by using this slider but there is another way which i do personally so for that let me add one more node here and just give a name cont okay let's do it from here Yeah, uh, I think this is perfect as you can see the before and after now the image is more contrasty I think my skin color is a little bit off so that I can also do from here so let me add one more serial node and I'll give a name skin so that also we can do here so you just need to go into the slice section and there is a separate skin section here so let me just reduce the saturation a little bit and just reduce this as well this is the luminosity and this is saturation so now we are good let's move into the dehancer tab and let me just drag and drop the dehancer dehancer pro here as you can see the color of the video has changed so let me just increase the size of this so you can just press shift f to increase the size and uh, on the right hand side you can see there are the multiple things on dehancer so first we will go down and disable all the tools so by using this disable button you can disable all the steps which dehancer applied automatically so let me collapse all these steps so there are multiple sections here like input film film developer film compressions and so let's talk about the input section so input section is nothing it's just the same as cst node which we have already done so here you can convert your log footage into rack 709 but we have already converted this so that's not required as such here so let's go to the film section so inside this you will find there are the multiple options like you can see there are many film LUTs available here you can apply so let me enable and show you yeah so see how the overall look of the image changes when i select any of these option and you can experiment and choose whatever style you prefer and it completely depend on your taste so for this video i am going with codec ultra max 400 since i feel it suits the wipe perfectly so you will notice it reduce some warm color from the image but don't worry we will bring that back later in the process so yeah we have selected this film profile codec ultramix 400 and let's jump into the print section i'll cover film developer and film compression after the print so print is usually has some few extra options that you can apply on top of your film choice so whatever the film you have selected here on top of that you can apply the print so print also have some other options here this layer will make a huge impact on the final look of your image for example i'll show you let me select this codec 2383 print film and enable this and see how it transform the overall tone of the image right so there are the multiple slider as you can see here so which you can control your exposure target white contrast and all those things so for this let me just reduce this to get some warm look yeah i think that's fine so let's move into the film developer section film developer is mainly used to adjust the contrast you can boost it or reduce it or you can change the color separation color boost all those things you can do from here that contrast we have already handled in a uh, previous node so that is not required here so let's jump into the film compression film compression helps to control the highlight of the video so for example as you can see in this section of the video there is a lot of light is coming so when i enable this so you can see how it's control all the lights right basically it's reduce the harshness when there is too much light hitting the frame so let me just increase it little bit and i want not much like this i think this is fine as you can see before and after now let's jump into the expand section 
so in the expand section uh, as you can see there are the two points black and white so you can just enable and play around with this you can handle the black and white in your image so basically that's not required for this particular video so i'm not gonna touch this so let's jump into the color head section inside the color head section there are the multiple slider as you can see if you want to add more colors in your video like for example here you you can add yellow or blue or magenta or green or red or cyan so that you can play around with these sliders and add the colors into your video as per your choice so i think for this video is not required and also you can handle the mid tones shadow highlights separately in different tones so that you can also manage from here so for this video i'm not using it and let's jump into the film green section film green is basically a very useful things like when you are talking about the old film look basically it will add some extra green or external greens in your image like as we see there are many green option available here like as you can see there are many green came when i turn on this option there are multiple option available here so more iso means the more green you will get for example if i select this 500 so yeah these are the greens i am getting here but i don't want such so i'll keep it 50 and let me reduce the amount as well like zero but when i'm setting this zero so still i'm getting very subtle green in the image and that's enough for this video because i don't want much green on vlog style footage and let's talk about the helixion and bloom so helixion and bloom both are responsible to adding some glow or a yellowish tone on your video let me zoom it when i'm turning this on so you can see there is some yellowish tone is coming and the light is little bit glowing and uh, you can select here and increase or decrease there are also multiple options i'll keep it 35 mm and just amplify it around 20 yeah that's enough for this video and for bloom when i will enable this bloom so you will see there's some glow on my face yeah you can see so that also uh, i'll keep it here around 25 or something or i can increase it yeah okay let's talk about the film damage so film damage is basically uh, responsible to add some artifacts on your video so for example if i enable and increase the amount so and also select this so now you can see there are some external elements start coming out so if you want to add some kind of elements like this so definitely you should consider this film damage but for this particular video it's not required as such so let me close this now let's talk about film breathe film breathe and gate weave okay let's discuss together so film breathe will add some color change in your video when you enable this and play the video so it's the color kind of change a little bit so that the effect you will get from this and gate weave is something it will add some camera shake movement on your video so if i enable this it's gonna crop this video a little bit and add some camera shake movement for example if you're shooting a video on a tripod and if you want to add some camera shake movement later on a video editing so you can do it by using gate v so for this video is not required and let's jump into the overscan section and here in the overscan section it will add some extra overlays on your video like if you want to add some overlays so let me show you if i enable this so you can see there is some extra overlays is coming out so you can change it there is a multiple option here you can select and see whatever is suits perfect for your video so that you can uh, apply on your footage so i'm just leaving it here and uh, vignetting i think i don't need to explain much vignetting is something you can add in your video to uh, make your video look darker around the corners if you want to uh, focus on the object and you want to make the surroundings darker so for that purpose you can use the vignetting so for this video i'm going to enable this and keeping it like this okay let's talk about the output here this control the overall grade of your video so after applying all the previous steps if you feel the look is too strong so you can simply reduce it using this output slider so let me keep it around 50 because i don't want much dehancer work on this video so yeah i think that looks pretty good and LUD generator is something you can export your LUD whatever the work you have done with dehancer if you want to export it you want to use it in some another software on another video so you can use it and finally we have a last options section here so here you can see the quality so you if you want to increase the quality you can select it here high otherwise keep it normal so for youtube purpose i am just keeping it normal otherwise it will increase the size of the video a lot so license info will give you the license information and check profile is something like if the hensor team release some of the more alerts or films or a print sections you can uh, check from here and you can just import it disable uh, you have already seen like we can disable all the steps which we have done 
recently now we have done all the things uh, here i think i can increase a light little bit by using this gain yeah i think this is a perfect grade which we have achieved by using the dehancer you can try applying these to your shot to see if it gives you a good look or not but just keep in mind this is going to depend a lot on the lighting condition of your shot as well as the color palette of your shot now i have another video so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, copy paste this so whatever the steps we have followed till now so we are going to just apply grade into our new video so that you can see here so but for this video uh, the contrast is not required skin is not required i think we can enable contrast but skin part is not required i can see the warm look is little bit on a higher side we can definitely reduce it to match the color grade of this previous video so what you can do uh, you can compare by using this and here select the clip and just press ctrl and click on your previous clip and it will add like this so let me just increase a little bit so now you can see there is a lot of difference in both the color grading so definitely we should match this so what i'm gonna do here so in the basic section i'll add some blue tone here to reduce the warm look let me control this warm from the temperature okay now we are good here i think like both the shots are looking similar as you can see here and yeah that's how you can do the color grading with dehancer and this clip also i have graded uh, by using dehancer let me show you what all the film profile i have used for this so you can see for the film i have used fuji color 1600 something like this and the print section i can show you uh, i have used codec and euro glossy paper so by using this print and film i can able to achieve this let me just show you before and after so you can just close it so this is the before the basic i have done just basic correction here so as you can see and in the dehancer part i convert it into this okay so that's all for this video at last so my simple advice is here play around with dehancer as much as you can and enjoy the process especially when you are learning take your time to explore what it can do if you have made it this far so drop a comment and let me know what's your favorite part of this video and if you are planning to buy dehancer so use my coupon code at ck films to get the instant 10 percent off thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Wrote something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down